every time you kiss me, it's like sunshine and whiskey. Hey guys, I'm Sophie Shalacy with ET Online here with Frankie Ballard backstage at the House of Blues. Now I want to talk about sunshine and whiskey specifically. You didn't write it. So tell me about when it came to you and, and why you chose it. The DWK line stuck out to me the first time I heard it. Don't wanna get a DWK, drive them while kissing, they'll put you away. I wrote that part kind of by myself. I was finishing the second verse because we didn't have one. And I said it and my wife was actually in the room and then I kind of I chuckled and she was like, Do you, are you really gonna put that in there? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and it made it, you know, some reason it got cut and went number one, so it's exciting. Jaron Johnston co-wrote the track with Nashville hitmaker Luke Laird, while his previous credits include songs for country A-listers, including Tim McGraw and Keith Urban. Honestly, I was, I was a little worried because you know, I love Frankie's stuff, but you know, you, a lot of times you want a more established artist to do it, you know? And uh, and he goes, man, I'm gonna take it all away. And I go, take it, baby, take it. You know, and he's a dear friend of ours, so uh, I'm glad it worked out. I could immediately see myself singing it on stage. I was so excited when we were recording it, I was so excited to dig into that tune because I felt like sonically, it was something that could really stamp my brand onto country music. <laughs> The song became Frankie's second number one single after his breakout hit, Hell of a Life. It's so exciting to have your first number one song and you're like, wow, I just can't, I mean, I can't believe this, this actually happened, but there's like this little voice in the back of your head like, what if this is the only time I'm ever going to get to experience this? And when Sunshine and Whiskey eventually went number one, I was like, so relieved that oh, I'm not a one-hit wonder, you know? <laughs> God, but even now that Sunshine and Whiskey has uh, done well, I still feel like, okay, well, you gotta have another one, you gotta keep going. So I don't know if I, that'll ever change about it. Tell me when you knew this song was gonna be a hit. As soon as it hits number one, that's when I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's when I buy that first round of whiskeys. And <laughs> start, start calling it a night. 